Good day guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. In our previous class we talked about how to move a chart to another worksheet. Basically we have been talking about the bar chart and various styles format style formatting that we can use in working around the bar chart and, and the and how to make a presentation with it. So today I'll be taking you how to create a pie chart which is another type of charts in an Excel. So before going further, let me try to give you a little bit a quick note, a little bit quick note on what pie chart is then taste. Um pie chart yeah, is part of the chart Excel chart but is there are some charts that are better suited for a large amount of data in pie chart and why some are better suited for a smaller amount of data and an example of such is a pie chart notes that a pie chart is better suited for a single asset data maybe either for single column yeah maybe single column for january and or single rows for personnel here so which is displayed so okay if, let me try to make a practical view of what i'm trying to see here. all right before we can create a pie chart as, as i've earlier said that you must first of all highlight your chart area so once you highlight your chart area then go to insert then after click on that then you will see a series of menu that will display you see column so which you can mix up series of bar chart here you see line chart pie chart bar chart area scatter well today we we are, we are taking on pie charts here so you can see series of Pie chart format here. So what we are let me try to use the one that most widely used here, which is this. You can see. So the chart has given me the my highlighted data that I have already picked from my from earlier process. So now let me try to drag this chart down. Let me try to drag it down. Okay. I think it's better suited here. Alright let us assume that i want if let me let's first click the first four click on the chart area there so let, let me assume okay let us assume that if i want to a detail some january uh, in relative to personnel so i can drag this chart down here i can drag it down here you can see okay you can see so invariably giving me the rep, the details of personnel uh, representing january if i want both uh, if i want to make it two months so i will drag it down to two months you can see that it's giving me the personal record in respect of january and february but um, if i want to make it to march so you can drag it down to here so it's giving me for personal record in respect of january february and march so thank you and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel bye